Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to another Making a Beat video. Today, we'll be remaking Ray Swermerd, Black Beatles featuring Gucci Mane, produced by Mike Will Made It, so let's get straight to it. First things first, let's go ahead and set the tempo to 146 BPMs, and gives ourselves a nice four bar loop. And we'll start off by creating the ARP sound that you hear in the track. So we're actually gonna bring in a plugin called Dune 2 by Synapse Audio. And here it is right here. So the actual preset that Mike Will used was called, for the ARP, was called Secret Missions KS. And it goes something like this. And he pretty much just held that down for the entire track. So let's go ahead and just draw that in here. And uh, we'll find E. Let's just go ahead and bring down the cutoff a little bit. That's good, just like that. Let's go ahead and duplicate this track and let's create that sort of guitar pluck sound that you hear in the track as well. I'm also gonna create a MIDI region right here. Now the sound is also powered by Dune 2 and it is exactly the preset right before Secret Missions and it is called Skimtar EDT. So as you can see, this track is pretty much made with uh, Dune 2 right here. It's an incredible plugin. Very good. So now I'm going to go ahead and just uh, draw out uh, the pattern right here for that sort of guitar pluck sound that you hear in the track. So let's get to the melody. I did figure out the melody beforehand. So let's get straight to it. Just give myself some nice real estate here. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, start the melody. Gonna push this up an octave. Da da da. Sorry guys, just trying to figure out the melody again. I don't remember it. There it is right there. All right, I think we got the melody. Here it is. Let's go ahead and bring it in with that ARP sound. Alright, 
sounds good so far. Let's go ahead and create that 808. So I'm going to create a new software instrument track. And we are going to bring in Logic's ES2. And we'll be working with an 808 preset that we always use in all our videos. Here it is right here. And um, let's just leave the melody going. And we are going to create another region here. We're going to draw in our 808 uh, progression. So let's get to it, guys. All right, let's go down to a nice low octave. That's pretty good there. Let's go ahead and just duplicate that. And we're just pretty much going to be playing the C. So we're going to bring this down here. Bring this down. Bring this down. And then at the end here, we have sort of a sort of 808 sort of build. remember correctly it goes something like this all right so there is our 808 let's just go ahead and make this a little bit neater and more matching to the song That sounds good, so here's everything so far. All right, next let's go ahead and bring in a clap. I'm gonna create a new software instrument track and going to bring in Logic's EX24 sampler instrument. Now I did create a drum kit for this before we started and is the race rumored Black Beatles sort of drum kit. And uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna draw in a new MIDI region. And let's draw in those claps. Now let's go ahead and just solo out the 808 and this new drum kit. All right, so let's go ahead and draw in our claps. Uh, let's see, find our clap first. So there it is right there. So we're gonna do it on every offbeat here. Let's bring in our snares. And that just pretty much copies itself to here. And that's pretty much your clap and snare pattern for the entire track. Uh, let's just join that. 
right, let's just duplicate this track and bring in our hi-hats. Uh, so our hi-hats are gonna be, I'm just gonna leave on my clap and snare here for a moment so we see where our hi-hats will go. Let's just zoom in here so we can draw in our hi-hats. something like that and that gets repeated every single bar Ooh. let's go ahead and just copy that over and then what else goes there is an open hi-hat or crash open hat so let's go ahead and just put that in here So that goes on the second part here. All right, so let's go ahead and delete out our kicks because we don't need it. Sorry, our clops and our snares, I meant. And let's just go ahead and duplicate this. Now we got our hi-hat and open-hat pattern. So next, let's go ahead and create another duplicate version of this track. Now we're gonna be using a kick, so just a top kick to kind of bring out the top end for our 808 to kind of push it out through the mix. So we're just gonna follow the same pattern of our 808, except we are playing a kick, so it's not gonna be kind of toned up and toned down, or tuned up and tuned down. So I'm just gonna follow the same pattern with the same hits. If I can get this right here. And we're gonna bring it up to the kick, wherever that is in the EXS24 sample pack. There's right there. That's pretty much your pattern right there with the 808s. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in one last pattern here. We're going to duplicate this sample kick, kit again for you guys that have created it for you here. We're going to draw in a MIDI region. And this is essentially just going to be little sort of, sort of bells or sort of ride, some sort of nice high percussion sound here. Got to find it in the kit. So that right there. That's gonna be nice and in the background. I'm just gonna pan it over a little bit because it's kind of pushed to my left right now. So that's sort of in the background throughout the track. All right, so let's go ahead and start arranging this track now. One thing I do wanna mention before we start arranging is that these, uh, this triangle sort of uh, pattern right here does change up in the verses. It's only for the intro part. Just go and do that quickly for the verse and choruses. Uh, so what happens is this double hit right here becomes one hit and this one hit gets pushed off to there. And 
just a minor little thing, but I figured I'd show you guys before we get to arranging. And uh, let's start arranging the track. Now, don't have it in front of me, but I kind of have an idea of how it's arranged from memory. So uh, I'm gonna push this to here with the ARP, and then after the ARP sound comes in, just the drums, and then everything comes together. This comes back into play, and then, um, whoa, what's going on here, guys? Trying to do this as quickly as possible for you, and then this kind of duplicates itself. We take out the guitar here, and I think we take out this kicks over here. And then we bring it back in. And then we come into the chorus. Well, again, I did that. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to arrange the rest of the track as we hit play. So you don't watch me keep screwing up here. Here we go. That right there is Ray Smurdered, Black Beatles, featuring Gucci Mane, produced by Mike Will Made It. Also, the song that you hear in all those mannequin challenges, I think it's called, whatever it is. So that's how you make that beat right there. For you Logic users out there, I am going to go ahead and save this entire session for you guys and place that in the description box below as a link. For those of you who don't use Logic, you'll find another link that you can download all the samples and all the MIDI stems. Just load that into your DAW and you can recreate that yourself. Just make sure that you do have this Dune 2 plugin and you'll be good to go. If you have a question on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. And for more great videos like this one, remember to go crazy on that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.